Hi, I'm Tab Pig with Vet Tech, and you're watching Two Minutes with Tab. Today, we're going to talk about basic hoof anatomy. What you normally see on a horse's foot is the coronary band or hairline. We're going to talk more about the hairline later in segments. You'll see a lot of abnormalities show up in the foot and it all starts at the coronary band. This is your hoof wall, this is your toe, and your heel. You're looking at the bottom of the foot. Start back here at the, seat, the buttress of the heel, the seat of corn, your bars. This is your white line. If, if you're shoeing your horse, that's where the nails need to be driven is in the white line. It's always best for the hoof to do that, not inside the white line, outside the white line, or in it. If we nail out here in the wall, you're going to have a lot of chipping and loose shoes. The white line is the best place to put your nails. These are your bars and your frog. And looking at the internal structures of the foot, this is your coffin bone or P3. This is your navicular bone. This is your second phalanx or P2. This is your long pasture or P1. Coming up to the extensor tendon, this is the tendon that runs up the front of the leg. This is the, this is the tendon that pulls the foot forward. Here's your coronary band or your hairline. This feeds a lot of blood into the sensitive lamina that attaches to the coffin bone. Then you've got your insensitive lamina or your white line, and then your hoof wall. This junction right here is what holds the coffin bone to the hoof capsule itself. We come down here. This is the sole that you see from the ground surface. This is what the sole looks like on the inside. This is your plantar cushion and your frog. These are part of the blood pumping mechanisms for the foot. And we're going to get into that in later segments as to how all that functions. This is your deep flexor tendon that runs up the back of the leg. That's what pulls the foot backwards and up for the horse to be able to throw the foot forward using the extensor tendon. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.